Hi, welcome back everybody. Today we're going to change the oil in a 2009 Volkswagen Route 10. Uh, I like this Volkswagen. It's It's got a lot of power to it. And it holds all the kids. It's got a 4.0 liter engine in it. And to uh, find out what kind of oil you need to put in it, you can look on the oil. engine it will tell you 10w30 the oil cap this is where you check your engine oil i usually pull it out whenever we start changing oil i take the cap off and pull that and that gives it lets the uh, air in the engine when you uh, drain the oil it helps it drain faster uh, um, if you're looking for your, the right oil filter, you can go to AutoZone or Riley's and ask them at the desk and they'll take you to the right oil filter. They also can tell you what kind of oil putting engine. This one takes about six quarts of oil. Uh, daughters looked up the oil filter. I was with them, but we went to Walmart and got the oil filter. Uh, you can also check your owner's manual. It should tell you how many quarts to put in it and which oil filter or which type of oil to put in it. Um, let's get started. I got my oil cap off. I got my little dipstick pulled. And we'll go under here and we'll start draining it. I got a container. Let me see the camera here. Right there. They drain the oil into. Right here's the oil plug. It's a 17 millimeter if you need the size. And right next to it's the oil filter. Really convenient right there. We'll take a pause and I'll drain this oil right quick. Can you squat down? Hey. Okay, we got the oil draining. I got the oil filter loose. I'll pick you up a little oil filter wrench. It makes a world of difference. Just remember, you turn to the left to loosen stuff, and right to tighten. Just let it drain a little bit. I'm sorry, the sun's right in my eyes. <laughs> I used to go ahead and take, I got a big enough pan I can take out the filter and let it drain the oil at the same time. Yeah, it can get messy. Get your grease rack. You always want to take a little bit of oil, put it on your ring before you put it your new one on. I just used the old oil out of the oil filter and get lubed up a little bit. You just screw that back on. Now you just want to get that hand tight. You don't want to take that wrench and tighten that oil filter down. You won't get it off later. It's a pain in the butt if you do. And if you do it on gravel, make sure you try to keep your, uh, don't drop your bolt like that. <laughs> try to keep it off the gravel so you don't get dirt and debris in the threads because that can mess up your oil pan a little bit. Make it harder to get your bolt out. So we'll keep it good and clean. Cap it all. Yeah, my oil's really dirty. I let go of extra thousand miles. I like to use full synthetic engine oil in my, in my cars. You can get a few more few thousand mile extra miles than conventional oil 
and I think it keeps the engine cleaner in my opinion. I'm sure it's got a lot more benefits than the conventional oil. It costs a lot more. That's all you need to do on the bottom end. Except for after you crank the engine, you're going to come back down here and check and make sure you don't have any leaks. So you got uh, your uh, drain plug. You just tighten it back up and put your oil filter back on hand tight. All right. Yeah, for the top end. Then you're going to pour your oil in. To your engine. Mine takes six quarts. It's a bigger engine. So I know it's going to take this whole five quarts. And those funnels are re really cheap. They're about a dollar. You can pick those up at any AutoZone. You get them at Walmart. I got a long one here. I have a short, fat one somewhere. I just can't find it. That always seems to be the trouble whenever you're working on a vehicle. Yeah, you know what you're doing and everything, and get to it, and you spend more time looking and digging for the right tool for the job <laughs> than the time it takes to do the actual job itself. I don't really like taking my vehicles to somebody else to have the oil changed because I like to put my own type of oil in it. Um, plus, I know how much is in there, and I know for sure that my oil filter's tight and my oil, pl oil plug's on, and I ain't going to suffer engine failure going down the road. Plus, you can keep an eye on your oil periodically and make sure you don't come up with a leak somewhere. So a lot of times the valve cover gaskets get worn over time, they'll start leaking oils or you get a seal leaks oil. Just keep an eye on that. This is also a great time to check your air filters, water levels, eventual wiper fluid levels, power steering fluid level make sure you got plenty of power steering fluid in there of course it'll start making a noise whenever it gets low too might be too late then but you check the corrosion on your batteries make sure you ain't got a whole lot of corrosion on your batteries those clean up real easy too if you keep them clean a little wire brush and paper towel maybe some little cleaner or something we got half the cord in it we can stop recording okay everybody we got uh oil in here put exactly six quarts in there it might say five and a half but it it takes every bit of six quarts in mine. You just pull out your dipstick, wipe it off real good. And on level ground, <laughs> you check it. Mine's still on the ramp, but you can see it's at the full level. It should be good. I'll check it again after I run it a little bit too, because it might use a little bit more and just add a little bit. You don't want to overfill your engine, you'll cause it a lot more. It builds up more higher oil pressure a little seal or something in there oil seal or something you don't want to do that uh, battery posts look good I got a little bit of corrosion right there so you got a little powder build up there I just wipe that off it ain't that much I'll check my brake fluid it looks good Don't forget to push that little plunger back in on these caps when you pull them off. Just make sure they're clean when you, you know, make sure everything stays clean when you push them back. You don't want no dust or debris or anything to get in there. This is where the radiator fluid goes. There's my little clip. Things broke. 
Looks like I need a little radiator for this. I'll put that in there here in a little bit. Uh, everything else looks good on it, so we'll crank up the engine right quick and we'll check it for leaks. As soon as I find the key. <laughs> Belt squeaking a little bit. But you keep your oil change every 3,000 miles with conventional oil and about 5,000 miles or whatever is recommended on the oil container uh, for full synthetic. There's even an oil, I think you can change your car your engine oil once a year but I think that's more or less for the cities like if you don't drive more than like uh, 10,000 miles in a year so I wouldn't recommend driving the, uh, the one year oil change if you live out in the country <laughs> I would not try it <laughs> because that, the engine oil is the life of your engine if you keep it nice and clean yeah it, it'll keep your engine running for a long time. I mean, it leaves all the parts in there. The bearings, the rod bearings, the cam, lifters. It keeps it everything loose. That, be should, that should be all for now, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. If you're interested in cryptocurrencies, i got links in the description below. Thank y'all. Have a good night.